Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The majority of auto rickshaws we see are either yellow or black in color. We would have also seen auto rickshaws which are green in color. Have you ever wondered why they're painted green? Well, this is to indicate that the auto rickshaws run on CNG and are eco-friendly. So what is CNG? Well, that's what we'll discuss today. The compressed version of natural gas at a pressure of 20 to 25 megapascal is called CNG or compressed natural gas. We have discussed about natural gas in our previous video. We recommend you to watch it. The link is in the description below. The Supreme Court of India has ordered the usage of CNG for transports like buses, trucks, auto rickshaws, etc. in many cities like Delhi. Do you know what is the reason behind the order? Well, this is because CNG has certain benefits over the other fuels. Let's list them down. CNG is cost efficient. As per the data from Alternative Fuel Price Report by the US Department of Energy, the average retail fuel prices in the United States between the years 2000 and 2018 is represented here. If you look at this graph, the price of gasoline fluctuates frequently when compared to CNG. In comparison, the price of CNG has almost always remained lower than gasoline, with some instances showing almost a 50% drop in prices. CNG is also eco-friendly and non-toxic in nature because it does not have lead content and the pollutants emitted are less. Zero lead content in CNG helps in extending the life of spark plugs because there is no contamination due to impurities. Similarly, it does not react with metal parts, therefore extending the life of the parts. Hence, maintenance cost of CNG-fueled vehicles is less. The pre-ignition tendency of CNG is very less. This improves the anti-knocking quality of CNG and it can be used with a high compression ratio of order 12 is to 1 or even higher. The next advantage is that the thermal efficiency of an engine running on CNG is higher. About 5-10% to 10 increase in thermal efficiency can be found when compared to petrol engines. Last but not the least, CNG is lighter than air. In case of leakage, it quickly dissipates. But unfortunately, in the case of leakage, it's very difficult to detect it because CNG is odorless. Now, this brings us to the drawbacks of CNG. Let's list them down. The energy density of CNG is less. So, if CNG is burnt for the same amount of gasoline, there will be a decrease in engine power. In order to match up with gasoline, a large amount of CNG is required. Due to this, a lot of space is consumed by CNG cylinders. For example, cars running on CNG have a tank capacity of 70 to 120 liters. That's huge, isn't it? But unfortunately, the gas filling stations for CNG are limited in India, due to which we don't find many vehicles that are powered by CNG. For the final part, with the help of a simple CNG engine layout, let's see how it differs from the gasoline engine and also its working. With the help of fuel filling valve, CNG is filled into the cylinder. The cutoff valve and the choke valve help regulate the fuel flow. The pressure regulator controls the pressure in the gas line and a pressure of 20 MPa is maintained. The sensors placed in the gas line measures the pressure and temperature. Now, the fuel is supplied in the intake manifold with the help of a fuel injector. The air-fuel mixture enters the cylinder and the spark plug ignites the mixture and the combustion takes place. The exhaust gas exits the cylinder through the exhaust manifold. An oxygen sensor placed in the exhaust pipe measures the amount of oxygen present in exhaust gas. In case of high oxygen content, the exhaust gas is filtered and with the help of an EGR valve, it is used for exhaust gas recirculation. This technique involves the reuse of the unburned fuel for complete combustion. So, the filtered exhaust gas is sent again into the cylinder for complete combustion of unburned fuel. This helps in improving the fuel economy of a CNG engine. So that's all for today's video guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Until then, bye.